So you're thinking of using a lock and load retaining wall for your next project. Here's a brief look at the basic installation procedure for this unique hand placeable solution. Begin by laying out and roughly aligning the first row of lock and load cantilever units on a prepared foundation grade. Using a string line, set each unit in place with the panel backs plumb. The addition of this small wedge allows the panel and counter four to be adjusted as a single unit. Panels can then be easily plumbed by tilting the counter forward and hand grading as needed. Once the units are aligned, backfill is added to the counter forward zone, leveled and compacted. Compaction begins over the tail of the counter forward and then moves towards the wall face and then back. If the final wall is less than four panels in height, once fully filled and compacted, the second row can be placed and positioned on a string line. Simply repeat this process to completion. For projects higher than four panels, place the first layer of GeoGrid on the two-thirds filled and compacted zone over the counterfort, with the strength axis perpendicular to and abutting the wall panel. Note, GeoGrid should be placed flat and free of wrinkles and is turned up and touches the panel back. This row is then backfilled and compacted to the panel top to prepare the base for the next row of lock and load cantilever units. The second row of lock and load units are aligned just behind and level with the top of the row below. Once alignment is set, the panel backs are easily plumbed by tipping the counter forts and grating as required. Place and compact the unit and reinforce the zone fill as before. When complete, a third tier can be set. Geogrid, wall batter, and drainage are all part of the engineered wall design. However, Geogrid is typically placed at the panel midpoint on every other row of lock and load units, beginning at the second row from the wall top. Backfill, compaction, and lock and load cantilever unit placement proceeds row by row until the final wall height is reached and the wall construction is complete. For more information on the installation procedure, feel free to download our installation guide.